Hello, beautiful artist. So I have a quick tip for you here, but it was a little bit longer than a short. So I'm going to um, do it here for you and you can take a look. I just came upon these fun wax crayons. Can't believe I've never used these before. Kind of crazy in all the years I've been painting. And I just wanted to show you how it works because I talk a lot about white spaces. And if you're a lazy painter like me, um, I don't like to take a lot of time with details and such. This is perfect. So let me show you a couple ways you could use this. Um, one way that I think is really fun is, let's just do this. So I'm just going over the surface of this paper. Now watch when I paint, let's just say, let me grab some blue. Ooh, my palette needs to be washed, folks. Some blue paint here, my goodness. And look at that. So where I would use this would be maybe in an ocean scene because what happens versus masking, okay? Because of course you could use masking, but what I really like is this leaves some of that wonderful texture because it's not completely covering. It's leaving these white sparkles and such. So I think that could be really pretty for the bark of a tree, for oceans, for maybe a hillside. This could be used in numerous ways. Now here's another just fun way to use it. And I have to be careful because I tend to press too hard and I break these. So, see? Oh my gosh. I'm like a little kid, you guys. So let's paint over that. And let us me grab some red paint. Look how fun that is. Right? Oh my gosh, I love it. And I love that it has this little bit of bits and pieces in there. For me, that's kind of cool. Um, let me see what would happen. Hold on. You can remove a little bit of that. If you really wanted more white space, you could always go in and dab. Something like that. But look how fun that would be. You know what this would be really fun for it with? Is if you're painting with your kids or grandkids to write them a message or how about this how about a card you could send to them and you've written them a message and all they need to do to uncover the message or the little picture is just paint over it with some paint they would be amazed and i think kids would love this as well to do this little exercise didn't think about that but look how pretty that is now here's a really great way that i could see my students using this is if you are struggling with maybe some of those white spaces on your flowers. This to me is a really great way to leave those white spaces. I just drew some lines in there. Now let's go in and paint those petals. So fun, you guys, I love stuff like this. So point, press, now the one drawback, as you're seeing, with this technique is if you want really precise lines, you're not gonna get that, okay? Because this uh, wax stick is just glazing over the surface of the paper and masking completely covers. But look how fun that is. Let's do some more here. So much fun. So look at these white spaces I'm creating. I hope you guys give this a try. For those of you that are a little bit challenged in leaving those white spaces, and if you're like me, you don't wanna use that masking, I'm just not a masking fan. I've ripped up too many papers doing it. 
Look at that, you guys. Woohoo! Oh my gosh, such fun techniques. I hope you use some of these. I think this would be really beautiful on the side of a tree. Let's see if I can squeeze that in here on the side. So let's just draw a tree here. And we'll use our mask, I mean our little crayon. And I'm just lightly going over the surface. And now let's add in our brown. Woo, look at, oh my gosh. Wow, we. This is so easy. Look at that. That is the perfect tree, I think. There you go. Let's add in a little bit dark here. I know this is just practice, but I can't stand it. You know me, as whenever I'm painting, I'm always seeing something in the moment. Look at that. That's a fantastic tree. Easy, easy, easy. So there is your tip for this week. I hope you will invest in these. If any of you live close to me in Southern California, come on by my studio. I'm happy to give you one of these, um, but they're not too much. I'll go back to my link and find it for you. And I think if you are challenged with leaving white space, this is awesome. And what a great way to create an ocean scene or a beautiful sparkling lake and trees. And this for your kids. I mean, what fun would that be to give your kids or anybody a blank card and maybe even give them a tiny palette of paint and have them paint and reveal the fun message. So exciting, you guys. I love fun stuff like this, and I hope you'll give this a try. All right, happy painting, and I will see you soon.